Hello and welcome, I'm John RMS, otherwise known as Ace Bullion, and today I have another coin that I'll be reviewing for you today. In fact, it is, well, the final coin of the series. As you can see from the title above, it is the Mary Reed. Now, before I begin, um, I am um, being rather careful with what I say. You know I don't discuss uh, financial uh, advice on my channel, so I'm not going to be giving you speculations, predictions, uh, or witchcraft as far as I'm concerned. Um, and I don't discuss politics either, which includes you know who the president is or whatever. Uh, but I do want to uh, say at this moment in time, obviously my heart goes out to all of those um, who are displaced, um, who've lost loved ones. And well, it's a really horrible situation to be in. Anyway, without further ado, and on a more positive note, because you can get all of that information from any lo you know, local news source, um, and you can formulate whatever opinions you want, uh, we're going to go on with the coin. So, here we go. All right, so on a more positive note, or... Uh, in a conclusion, I guess, to the series, uh, we've been having the Pirate Queens. And, well, the Royal Australian Mint has produced only three. I was wondering how far they would get. Uh, the first one, of course, being the Anne Bonny, um, which, well, I was immediately excited for. I loved, I bought, in fact, it's mine. It belongs to my permastock. And the second one being we have the Ching Shai. Well, again, a really lovely coin. Well, the Royal Australian has, uh, Mint has released the third and final coin of the series. So there's only three of them in the set of 10, and they're all uh, limited to 10,000 mintage. And here we are uh, right now with the Mary Reed. Now on the face value here, let's just zoom in slowly. We have Queen Elizabeth II, uh, the Solomon Islands, 2022, and we have a $2 denomination. Um, and of course, you can see down below, just under the Queen's neck here, IRB. Um, again, it has the really gloss and a slight matted uh, background. Yep, okay, fine. It's, it's a side I put face down, so I'm not really that fussed about it. Um, you know, it's... It is a really good coin. It's a 10,000 mintage, so there we go. Has a reeded and or milled uh, edge going around the side. And here we are now at the final coin. And it is a doozy to look at. Uh, and I have to say, I know there's some people who have seen the previous videos um, that I'm actually, <laughs> the, I know you'll disagree with me, but I'm really, really pleased that at the bottom they've put the skull and crossbones. I know in the second one, uh, they did not. And I was kind of a bit like, meh, see, as you can see, there's no skull and crossbones. However, let's have a look at the coin and see what we think. So first off, we can see the one ounce three nines silver right here. We have, of course, the pirate queen herself, uh, Mary Reed, and there's her ship leaving, well, a fairly wounded uh, or damaged ship uh, as it goes on. Uh, again, there's the skull and crossbones I'm actually really pleased about. Um, I'm happy to see it. It's on a pirate ship, of course. Uh, see here at the very top, we do have the pirate flag going at the top uh, of the mast there. And it depicts a, well, a, a war scene uh, at sea. I think, if I'm correct, it was about 1600s. Uh, so, uh, I think, personally, it's a lovely, lovely coin. Um, omitting, of course, obviously, you know, uh, the current climate, what's going on in the world. Um, you know, as part of the series, this is just amazing. It's beautiful. Uh, and, you know, I'm glad they didn't try to pull in other uh, pirates or whatever. I mean, realistically, I couldn't find a whole lot of female pirates. I don't think it was one of those things that they had an awful lot of. 
Um, I do believe some of you guys uh, had come up with a couple other names uh, in some of the few uh, previous videos. And yeah, it is smashing. Again, I do like this really weird background. It does remind me of the Star Wars series. I've said it multiple times. Um, and you know, the attention to detail on the ships themselves are stunning. Uh, as you can see there, you can see all the ladders, um, you know, the actual green of the wood, uh, just everything is there. Uh, and you can see the chaotic scenes behind, um, you know, Mary Reed's ship as, you know, they make off. It looks like some uh, people are in kind of like a lifeboat, almost looks like. I'm not quite sure. That might be a wave, actually, uh, with, of course, plumes of smoke. Uh, you know, <laughs> that's the only thing I find a little bit odd is, of course, with any kind of uh, gunpowder explosions, it's not just confined to kind of a little vortex or funnel. Um, it would have just engulfed and you wouldn't have seen the ship at all. Um, gunpowder has that, especially back then, uh, that kind of a atmosphere to it. So if uh, anything was to actually catch or get hit from a gunpowder explosion, this would have just been a complete whitewash background. You wouldn't have seen any ship at all. Um, and let alone, I mean, you barely see your own ship. Now, I'd love to know in the comments down below, have you been collecting this series? Um, if so, do you have the final coin? Uh, I do know that they've been selling out rather fast from the Silver Trader. And, you know, with the mintage of 10,000 and only three in the series, it was a pretty quick and easy series to collect. In fact, I have, as I showed you before, because I will be buying this coin, I have yet to purchase it. I have the other two here. I'm just going to stick it in this case because that's where it's going to ultimately be. But uh, there was Queen Anne. Uh, sorry, not Queen Anne, excuse me, not a queen at all. She was Pirate Queen. Uh, Anne Bonnie, there you go. And again, there was a, you know, a solo ship just at sea. Um, you know, very, very beautiful. They haven't changed any of the background at all. And then, of course, the Xing Shai. Um, and, yep, absolutely amazing. You can just see the phoenix or whatever going all the way around it as we, we take a look there. And then to finish it off with a kind of a spectacular finale and any other time I'd actually be super excited about this, but you know, sadly, you know, said current climate, of course, right? Um, we have the Mary Reed, which is just a devastating, you know, um, destructive force at sea and it looks spectacular uh, as a, a, a coin and as a set I have to say the three are absolutely remarkable and you know I'm actually proud to to own them well apart from this one yet I have to pay for that one still so as I said let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts and opinions are on it there are plenty of other pirates uh pirate series going on uh, some that I really just, I can't wait to show you. Um, there's mystical and mythological um, things that are happening. I was going to show you a few more things, but I'm really, really excited about it. So uh, I'd love to know what your thoughts and opinions are. So please leave them down below. And uh, thank you very much for watching. There will not be a video on Wednesday. Uh, that's, that'll be tomorrow. Uh, instead, I will see you live on Thursday, followed by Friday, where I will be, of course, showcasing the brand new dog series. Yep, that's right. I've already shown you the cat series, and I've had the dog series now since yesterday, and I'm looking forward to showing you that. And, well, there's plenty more coins to be coming as well, uh, including the Tudor uh, you know, collection. Uh, which is essentially the King's Beast. So I'm looking forward to sharing you that uh, and hopefully something a bit special about that as well. So we'll, uh, we'll see and wait. Fingers crossed. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be safe. Bye for now.